Well, this mini lesson is on bisecting a segment, so it's only fair we show a construction. Imagine if I took the needle of my compass on A and swung an arc through B. Swing that arc down here and up here where I expect to intersect. Now, I'm going to put the needle on B and I'm going to swing an arc through A. You're going to have to do this, so pay attention. And we swing that arc. I'm swinging the compass right there. And I've made these, I've got these two points of intersection. I'm going to label those H and K for now. And if I were to draw a line there, which I'm also calling G, I can say that this blue line is going to split A, B, and half. Now, I should put some tick marks in there. I'll first put a point M. I'll identify this point as the midpoint. And these tick marks tell me that AM is congruent to MB and that I have a right angle. But more on that later. We're just concerned with the bisecting part now. So let me express this a few ways. HK, the line HK bisects AB. The point M bisects AB. I could also say M is the midpoint of the segment AB. And I can say that S, well, that's wrong. I should say, meant to say G, is the perpendicular bisector of AB. So there you have it, a little bit of vocabulary. Now let's do some of the book exercises. These are simple exercises just designed to see if we can understand our definitions. This line, this green line, bisects the segment RT. By definition, that means that it passes through a point, which is the midpoint, dividing the segment into two congruent segments. Now, if RS is 5 and 1 8 we're talking about this segment right here. So, if you will, the half segment. And we're asked to find RT. And obviously, all we're going to do is double it. You know, you, some of you don't like fractions, but this one's actually pretty easy. When I double it, I think of it this way. I double 5, I get 10. And when I double 1 8 I have 2 eighths or 1 fourth. So I'm finished. This one's easy. We'll do a few more. Just like the last one, we've got this green line bisecting the segment. And we're given this measurement, 5 eighths of an inch. And again, if you will, VW would be the half segment or this portion. And if I want to know UW, I would need to double it. Now, when I double 5 eighths, if you've forgotten your fractions, when I double that, that's 10 eighths, if you will. I can simplify the fraction to 5 fourths and change that to the mixed number 1 and 1 quarter inches. And let's do the arithmetic a little different this time. Here we're given, again, the green line bisecting, in this case, PQ. But now, watch out. You're given the measure of segment PQ. That would be this segment right here four and three quarter inches. And of course, if I want to know RQ, I'm going to, I'm going to have to take half of that since it is bisected. Now I've given you a binomial way of doing it. I know four and three quarters is four plus three quarters. Half of that, half of four is two. Half of three quarters is three eighths. You could do it that way. But I know if you're like most people, you are going to use this you're going to say 4.75, and you're going to take that and divide by two, and you'll notice you get the exact same answer. Um, it's good to be versed in fractions as well as decimal, but there you go, 2.375, or two and three eighths inches. Well, let's find the length of segment EM, knowing that M is a midpoint of the segment EG, and we've got these two variable expressions for these two segments. Well, this is an easy one to set up because we know by definition of a midpoint, the or a midpoint divides a segment into two congruent segments. Two congruent segments have equal measures. Let's perform the substitution, and I'll place those variables in there, those variable expressions. And now let's just go through the arithmetic. I don't have to do that for you. You've passed algebra one. I know my variable x is equal to 6. So if I want to know the length of, of em, 
that's simply going to be a substitution and this segment is 42. That's my answer. That's what I'm looking for. Look at the question. Find EM. But it, this is in your interest to check. I would also substitute into here because now if I find MG I also come up with 42. That's helpful because if I came up with a different number I think it would mean I made a mistake. But right now that confirms. It's a nice little check for you. This is what you're looking for so EM is 42. Well, let's revisit our good old friend, the number line from way back in our previous courses. And you recall, we've got these filled in circles on the ends. That means all the values on this green segment, um, including the endpoints. When, when we find a length, it's a difference between those two points. So length is a difference. And a difference would be in absolute values because it doesn't matter which side I measure from. In this case, if I take, if I choose my value from the right and then subtract from the left, I'm always going to have a positive value anyway, even without the absolute values. But let's stick to following the rules. If you follow this, you'll always get it right. Length is a difference. Or you could just count. There's seven spaces. Or I could count seven places there. So. Let's find the midpoint. Visually, the midpoint is right here. It's in the middle of that green segment. I can just about see it. But let's just do the arithmetic. And the arithmetic is, I'll take the negative 4, and I'll add the 3, and I'll divide by 2. And what I come up with is negative 1 half. So, in this case, midpoint is an average. I'm adding two numbers, dividing by 2. It's that easy. So let's just go through another one very quickly. Again, length is a difference. So in this case, I'm going to take the difference between 2 and negative 6. I can just about see that without doing it, but let's just do it this way. 2 minus negative 6 is 8. That's a difference. And of course, if I wanted to calculate an average, I'm going to add two numbers, negative 6 and 2, divided by 2, negative 4 halves, which simplifies to the value negative 2, and that's exactly the middle of this segment.